Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Chris here today and I'm gonna show you guys how to pour forward your servers. So first thing you'll need to do is go to the bottom here, go to command prompt, type in CM or type in CMD in your search, pop it open, poof, command prompt opens. Now mine looks a little different than what yours will look like. Yours will look black. I just customized mine because it's on Windows 10 and I can do so. So then you'll want to type in IP config launch that now you want to focus on your default gateway and your IPv4 address these two things right here you want to focus on those so and then you want to open up your browser go into your uh, web browser here and type in 192.1 well mine's 192.168.1.1 uh, it'll prompt you for an admin password and an admin uh, admin password and admin username username is always admin password you'll have to figure that out you can search up online what uh, your router password is if there's a default one set up or you can look on the back of your router and it should give you a password so then you want to log in and it, yours is gonna look a lot different than mine uh, but uh, that's that's pretty much it to log in and yours will look like I said yours will look different but pretty much follow the same concept the same steps and if you are having problems let me know and I'll definitely help you so just comment below if you guys are having issues with your uh, port forwarding so some stuff's gonna be blurred out on the screen for you guys to hide privacy and public you know I just don't want my IP out there so it's gonna be there but uh, go to port forwarding you want to click port forwarding and port triggering if yours doesn't have port forwarding and port triggering you'll need to uh, look more in depth for your router and figure out how to port forward through your router or you guys can simply um, look for something called port forward slash port triggering but um, right now I'm gonna add a custom server service um, I'm gonna type in here unturned server we're gonna do the starting port. Port is the port that's on your server. For the for the demonstrations of this video, I'm using two seven zero one six, and then two seven zero one two seven zero one six. You'll almost always want to have a protocol TCP and UDP. And right here, this is your server IP address. This is your IPv4 address that you guys will need to use. So at the end of dot uh one nine one nine two point one six eight point one on mine, it's fifteen. So I'm gonna put one five right there. Apply. And then it should open up. It should load for you guys. Now uh, this should start port forwarding it. It should port forward it for you, and you should have your server set up and ready to go for anybody to join. Uh, if it, I'm gonna show you guys how to get your your guys's friends to join. But first, I want to show you something. If you guys are still having problems after that, this is a quick way to fix it. You want to go to your system. Go to system security, go to Windows Firewall, go to advanced settings. Then this is pretty much what you want to use to, uh, if you're using a VPS or something like that, you want to go through here. And then you guys will want to do the same thing with the ports. You want to go to inbound rules, add a new rule. There's a lot of stuff on here. Add a new rule, click port, go next, type in. 27016 or whatever server port you're trying to port forward uh, make sure it's TCP go next you'll need to do this for TCP and UDP so I'm gonna make, name this unturned server UD or TCP and finish then you'll need to do it again for UDP so you'll go to port again add new rule go to port go click UDP and then do 27016 for example, that's just an example. Like I said, that's the port I'm using. Uh, that's the port I want to port forward. Hit next. Allow connections. Go next. And then unturn UDP. Save that. Now go over here on the left. You'll see outbound rules. You want to click that. Go to new rule. Open that up. Go to port. Hit next. Then type in 27016 or whatever port you want to port forward. Make sure it's on TCP. Go next. Now this is where it tricks you all the time. It goes to block the connection. Go to allow the connection. Then go next to next. Go unturn TCP. Boom. New rule. We're going to need to do it again for UDP. Go next. UDP. Then 27016. Next. Allow connection. Next. Public domain everything. Yes. Unturned UDP.
bam loaded all right now it's fixed if you guys were having issues with it in the future but i recommend doing that just for the sake of doing it um now the simplest way to invite your friends is to go here and go to what's my ip load that up and some stuff's going to be blurred out on the screen right here is going to be blurred out on the screen for you uh that's strictly because right now my IP is on the screen. Your IP will be on the screen. Send that to your friends. Tell your friends what port you're port you're give, uh, you're using, so they can add it into. And there you go, guys. That's how you port forward any game. And strictly for this tutorial, I was using Unturned. So, or you guys could uh, the same port with two seven zero one six applies with Gary's mod, uh, most Steam applications and stuff like that. Uh, I I believe that Rust uses two eight zero one five. I think it is 28015 I think Rust uses. But anyways, guys, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys subscribe. I may do some more tutorials like this or tutorials on plugins, add-ons, stuff like that for other game servers that I run. But um, if you guys want to check out my server, my unturned server, draw, uh, check out the link in the description. If you guys want to check out my Rust Legacy server, the link is in the description for the ports and everything you guys will need. Or the IP and everything you guys will need. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video.